The new NHS will see GPs right at the heart of commissioning so that patients can have the right services at the right time in the right setting. In Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly, a group of GPs have been putting this into practice by developing a solution that will give patients improved access to urgent care services closer to home. This film showcases a project which saw local GPs put together a proposal and work with their NHS partners to improve patient care. I think one of the most important and perhaps one of the most exciting elements about the, the development of clinical commissioning is the ability to really focus on the integration of healthcare, really from a patient's perspective, understanding the patient's journey through all the different providers of healthcare. That's the same patient going right the way through and the the real wish of the clinical commissioning group to focus around the patient and their particular journey through healthcare. So what does this mean for patients? This is all about patients and it's all about responding to what they want really and, and clearly historically patients in the west of Cornwall have, have made it absolutely clear that they wanted a good urgent care centre at West Cornwall Hospital and by the collaborative working of everybody coming together we're very close to delivering that, uh, that solution now and this provides an op ideal opportunity now going forward to look at other services that we can deliver closer to home, we can consult with patients and find out what more services they want at West Cornwall Hospital and hopefully we can take those proposals forward as well. It was a local GP who first decided to see what could be done with the local health partners as to what ideas would work. This project came about from a meeting of the West Cornwall GPs uh, when there was significant concern expressed about the ongoing problem with staffing at that local casualty department. So I then uh, headed a group to work with our clinicians, uh, both doctors and nurses within the local hospital to see if we could work out a better way of of keeping our cash department open. So we then worked up a proposal uh, and then we had an open meeting uh, which, which invited all the local stakeholders, both medical uh, politicians, the MP, local health pressure groups, and they all came along and inputted at a very early stage uh, to help us design it. Uh, we then formalised this, this proposal and went to the hospital trust board and presented it to them. And I have to say, you know, the chief executive you know, received it very well at the time and then we've been working with her and her team since then to bring it to the situation where we are today. This was a really unique experience working alongside the uh, Kerno Clinical Commissioning Group, our GP commissioners, uh, bringing together the hospital consultants and actually jointly then working with community leaders and uh, undertaking considerable community engagement through the local communities that includes uh, the west of Cornwall and also the Isles of Scilly in really developing a new type of service that actually delivers care close to people's own homes which is what we actually know that the general public want down there. Um, it also included making sure together as commissioners and providers that we're actually really developing and improving a local community hospital that we want to be thriving and vibrant and absolutely developing high quality services. It was collaborative, it was innovative and it was evidence based and it was a truly good experience and I think the general public enjoyed it as well. We think this is uh, an exciting uh, project. It is a pilot, we're, we're looking at its effectiveness uh, for the people in Penzance, we're keen to see actually less work coming at to Truro. That's a really good um, marker of its effectiveness. But we think also, gosh, this could be uh, rolled out to the rest of the county. There are many more uh, places like Penzance across the county uh, that could benefit from a, a local service like the Urgent Care Centre, providing good, safe, urgent local care, uh, which allows the patients that do need to come to the central location uh, to be uh, effectively managed there um, when they really need it. How would these proposals benefit staff who work at the centre? West Cornwall Hospital is on a peninsula. We're 26 miles away from the nearest hospital. Um, during the summer periods the population increases for tourism. Um, we also serve the Isles of Scilly and also um, in the local community we have a large fishing fleet and a um, university campus. Um, this brings its own challenges in that the population increases during these times, which increases the demands on the local health care community. Um, West Cornwall Hospital is unique in that it needs to um, deliver a service of high, of high quality and sustain that through busy periods. What this will um, mean to the services that we already provide in the department is that we will be 
able to continue to provide an excellent service and I'm very proud of the service we currently provide but what this actually means to the people of West Cornwall and the Isle of Scilly is that they'll be able to be treated closer to home and that's got to be good when you're wanting to achieve a good patient outcome. We are very pleased to be involved with this initiative of an urgent care centre at West Cornwall Hospital. It would improve the patient experience by reducing the journey time to hospital, reducing the fuel costs and getting the ambulance back out to deal with the next patient as soon as possible. And for the local people? In the history of the West Cornwall Hospital, it's a, it's a very special place. It's very special to the people that live around the area. Even where I live at the Lizard, it's, it's, we look at it as, as our hospital. So the, the sustainability and the future of the hospital has always been something that's been a great concern to everybody that lives around that area. So this initiative is amazing. It really is brilliant. Um, and I'm so grateful to Matthew Bolter and his colleagues who have worked up this initiative for the urgent care unit at West Cornwall Hospital because it sustains the life of the hospital there for the people that love it so much. So how has the working experience been for the local GPs and what does the future hold? But it's been very refreshing to work as clinicians in, co in collaboration with their secondary care colleagues to get a workable, sustainable, achievable solution to a long-term problem that our local hospital has had. We as local GPs and local residents, it's our hospital too, for it we had a really good handle and understanding on a way we could get a solution that would work in the long term. And I think with our new urgent care centre, it's really exciting times for healthcare delivery close to people's homes for the people of West Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. I think this is a really important and exciting development for West Cornwall, a hospital that's had increasing difficulties over the last few years, which residents of, of the West of Cornwall really recognise. I think this marks a real sea change in, in the fortunes of West Cornwall. I think there will be a real invigoration in the capacity and capability of West Cornwall to grow and develop and provide more services for the local population.